So hello to everyone. <clears throat> Came here and now let's talk about the new tool I have uh, made uh, for uh, this part. These are limb folder uh, control arm uh, joints. You can see here. This is for rear axle. Uh, here are uh, the part numbers of original Daimler part and a cross number of limb for door part. Now on the picture I will show you detail. Here is uh, the part itself. It's, bash it's bashing. Mm. And uh, this bashing goes to the rear wheel carrier knuckle which connects uh, axle rear, rear wheel carrier to the <coughs> <clears throat> supreme, not supreme to the controller. Uh, now uh, here are the official uh, torque moments for it that uh, and we can see that uh, the torque uh, spec for this job is 120 Newton meters and guys this is mandatory that you own uh, the tool like this when you are doing this job. This is the original Mercedes uh, part number of the tool and uh, when I checked uh, this online, it costs awful money. It costs very much. I have no dealership in my garage and I don't need this tool because I uh, decided to do uh, the tool like this uh, myself. And now I will show you what I have done. First of all, let's uh, look uh, closer to the part itself i have done the video about it uh, some uh, months ago but uh, now i'm showing you it once again here is the new uh, control arm trailing bushing uh, for this guy and uh, this is the further part i also don't uh, see the reason to invest in the genuine mercedes a trailing arm bushing uh, and that's why I bought uh, this Roland Forder from Germany and this is guys the main tool I uh, invented here uh, in my city I went to my uh, local a metal steel forging master and gave him some images some sizes some specs and he made this tool for me. <clears throat> uh, here you can see the main shaft, the fastener, which now I am moving to loosen it. And also here you can see two parts which are directly like sockets, but they are not sockets. They are forged and machined steel tubings which will uh, allow me to uh, remove and press this trailing bushing uh, into the knuckle okay. so uh, my tool consists from uh, four main parts and now I am showing you the inside of the tubing as you can see it has some specs it is not a simple tube it has some specs and you must uh, <clears throat> go uh, and accept uh, all the specs which are uh, definitely important to do this job uh, Guys, this is mandatory, that's the main shaft, uh, which I showed you now, uh, is enough thick to be strengthful and to be good to uh, <clears throat> do the torque, uh, you know, the torque moment when you are pressing out this trailing bushing is uh, very big and uh, the main shaft must be 
very strong uh, for it not to damage the steel itself and not to damage the tool also itself. So uh, let's uh, now mm, see how this tool works. Uh, I will uh, demonstrate it for you guys virtually. Uh, here is the one end of the trailing arm pushing and it goes uh, through this tubing. Uh, the tube uh, is enough wider not to damage the uh, rubber part but it uh, hits definitely on the iron part of the bushing and uh, the connection is very secure and now uh, this tubing allows me to push this trailing arm uh, into the uh, wider wider tubing which uh, will uh, be on the opposite side of the knuckle itself uh, and I will be able to uh, <coughs> screw the fastener, bolt on the fastener and uh, then press the trailing arm bushing uh, into the wheel knuckle uh, itself. Mm. So now I am trying to show you uh, the right, right uh, way of the installing this trailing arm bushing. Uh, first uh, goes uh, the seeker tube, here it is. Uh, then uh, this tube hits from here to the knuckle uh, and then goes uh, the trailing arm bushing with uh, the uh, shorter tube. I attached it and then uh, this fastener or bolt or washer as you can want you can call it and when you are uh, fastening this uh, and torquing this here you can see that uh, the trailing arm bushing is going through the tube and is this is the way how it uh, goes and how it is being installed on the car's knuckle here you can see but uh, now it is very easy but when you will press it to the uh, car you will need to lubricate this trailing arm brushing on the iron part and you will need some uh, long range to uh, fasten uh, this bolt I'm moving now and uh, then uh, very gently you will be able to install this part on its place. Uh, the same story guys uh, with the uh, removing the trailing arm bushing. This tool is suitable for installing and for removing this part. Now you can see that the bushing is inside in the into the uh, thicker and wider tube but on the car this tube will be opposite of the knuckle and it will allow you to um, do the effort uh, rightly on the uh, trailing arm and press it on the car's knuckle itself. <coughs> now let's uh, remove, disassemble everything and I will show you that uh, no damage is uh, connecting to the trailing arm bushing using this tool. Uh, some guys use some sockets and hammers and I don't like to use hammer on the uh, bushings uh, and uh, on the car suspension. If you uh, can uh, use some special tool, you can uh, buy them, you can invent them, you can make them yourself and use uh, the tools which are properly for the job. Here, guys, you can see once again that uh, the rubber looks like as it should be and this uh, tubing which is machined uh, uh, to the special sizes uh, does not, does not uh, damage it. You can also lubricate with some silicone this part, this rubber, and it will uh, be uh, easy to get it uh, into the tube. And now uh, 
it is ready uh, to go and install on your car very 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 good fitment and i'm really very happy that i have this tool in my garage now and i am able to do this job uh, myself uh, i like to do is to work with my car and i like also to use special tools working with it uh, so guys uh, now uh, i want to uh, do a, a little uh, update a uh, little update also uh, here uh, i want to, to show you that uh, the fastener uh, which is the mainly uh, bolt uh, which uh, allows me to uh, put the trailing arm bushing on its place is uh, 27 millimeters on the diameter uh, you cannot use the socket uh, on it uh, you can use some open end wrench and in my case this is 27 millimeters and I like it because uh, it is enough it has enough diameter to uh, put some strength on it and put some torque on it but I have a little problem with this uh, because uh, this is um, unusual uh, size uh, the uh, wrench uh, only wrench uh, was uh, getting closer to it is 24 millimeters but you know it wobbles and uh, I think that I will simply use some adjustable wrenches uh, with uh, this uh, head um, to, uh, to move it, it, it will be uh, necessary. So guys, uh, this is the sizes uh, of this tool. Uh, if you want, you can do it uh, yourself. Uh, also, uh, you can uh, connect to me and uh, I can do uh, this tool for you and uh, ship it to you we can discuss the prices if you want also for it this is not promotion i only uh, am sharing with you my personal experience and helping you to do the jobs rightly so once again thank you very much for watching thank you very much for uh, subscribing uh, sharing the videos uh, stay tuned and uh, more videos will come soon. Greetings and uh, goodbye.